morning, everyone. Welcome on into the valley today. Well, grab your paint brushes, but leave your smock at home because this artist's motto is the messier the better. Scribble Lady's mission is to make art feel less intimidating and has been helping people explore new techniques since 2022. The Valley Today's Tatum Miller is live at Scribble Lady this morning, learning how they foster creation through embracing imperfection. Good morning, Tatum. Good morning, Ashlyn. Yes, I'm here live at Studio Q, which houses some beautiful art pieces all made by Hannah Stelter, who is a local artist based here in Fargo, also known as the Scribble Lady to some people. So Hannah, you are standing in this awesome sculpture right now, and this has to do with your event coming up. Do you want to tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, so my event is called the I Effing Love Myself, and it's all about the art of feeling, which is a new collection of artwork that I'm doing. Each painting that I've made represents a different emotion, and I'm making sculptures that go with the emotions. So this is the sculpture that I've made for Calm. The model who wears it will hold the top and rest it on her head, and then she's just in this like zen bubble of like protected bliss. I love it. So we have paintings, we have sculptures to go on models. What else can we expect to look for? There's so many things at this event. Like I can't even describe all of them, but basically there's key paintings about different emotions, sculptures that go with each one. There will be a fashion show to present the sculptures. And then I've written a poem that talks about each emotion that will be played while the models walk down the runway. There will be a pole performance, there will be a drag performance, and like so much more. <laughs> so all things creative, I love it. And if you wanna try to sneak out of there, we can take a look at some of your other emotion sculptures. What are these for? So these are arm pieces that I have made um, for the sculpture of love. So the model will wear them like this, kind of to represent their energy like flowing out of their arms. And this is the headpiece that also goes with love. So I can pop it on my head here for you. Absolutely. So the model will wear it like this. And it's kind of the same like zen spirally vibe to be like, oh, I'm nice and calm. <laughs> so that's that one. They are beautiful. And my favorite, of course, as I pointed out to you earlier, is this rain cloud behind us. Yes, this one's sadness, of course. Kind of that idea of you're just surrounded by sadness so the model will be underneath it but the cloud kind of sits right on her head like that i love it and you told me a little earlier that all of these start from just a sketch right Yes, so I have this journaling practice where every day I sit down and I draw a portrait of myself and how I'm feeling. And I represent calm with a spiral and I represent sadness with raindrops and all of those things kind of have built the basis for these pieces. I love it. Thank you so much, Hannah. And coming up next, we're going to walk you through that exact process that she is describing right now. That's all I have. I'm Tata Miller. For Valley News Live, back to you at the studio, Ashlyn. Thank you, Tatum, for that creative live check-in this morning. For any upcoming Scribble Lady events, you can visit our website, valleynewslive.com. 6.30 here on the Valley Today, a tribute to Toby Keith last night at the CMA Awards. We'll take a look coming up. Stay with us. Plus, Summer Schnellbach joining us this morning with a look at our Monday morning forecast. If you're counting down to the eclipse, she'll let us know exactly what to expect right here after the break.